Well, I'm trying planting some more things in the house since I planted a lot of these outside and they got too cold. So I've got an old egg carton here. And um, <clears throat> here's what I'm going to try. Try again, huh? That's the good thing about your seeds is you have a bunch of seeds. So if some of them don't grow, let's just plant them again. Put beans in this one. I'm putting corn in this one. Hey, chives, this one, and basil, next, cantaloupe on this end, and on the other side will be cucumber, next row is going to be two kinds of peppers, these yellow ones, I got the small bell peppers, I gave up on the big green ones because nobody really likes to eat them. This is my favorite part of gardening. I love planting the seeds. Next row is going to be two kinds of peppers. These yellow ones. I got the small bell peppers. I gave up on the big green ones because nobody really likes to eat them. This is my favorite part of gardening. I love planting the seeds. Did I say that about compost bins? That's one of my favorite parts too. Digging around in the compost bins. <laughs> in the four spaces in the middle, I'm going to plant hollyhocks. See how they do. The hollyhock seeds say to clip a little nick out of them with the fingernail clippers. So I'm going to do that before I plant them. Okay, I got my fingernail clippers. It actually looks like somebody already took a nick out of them. But I'll take another nip. And these, it says to press them down in there. Okay, so I'm going to water them. Put them in a big plastic bag, put them in the house. There's my little greenhouse, and into the big house we go. So this is only the second time that I've tried starting seeds in the house. It never really seemed like a good idea to me because I don't really like dirt in my house. I like to try and get the dirt out of my house, <laughs> but <laughs> with everything doing so poorly in the buckets this year, I decided to try something in the house. Well, when I saw that you could put it in a plastic bag like this, that made it a lot better. So I don't really feel like I have dirt in the house because it's in a plastic bag, right? Okay. So there we go, and there it sits until it germinates. Ooh, it's the first strawberry of the season. Said when it's red all the way around, it's ready to eat. Mm -mm. And there are a couple more in there that are turning red. Yummy. What dog doesn't love a bone? Buddy, do you love a bone? I got a bone for you. There you go. Do you like it? I'll come back later and see if you like it. Okay. I figured out how to give dogs a bone in Southern California. Because usually they just smear it all around on the cement. Of course, you can't do it in the house. Because the ants come. So I figured out if I put out a beach towel <laughs> it keeps some of the smear off of the cement and so far I haven't seen too many ants then I just wash the beach towel when we're all done all right Betty I think he likes it remember this old trick 
take a pair of jeans, cut them off, make a shorts, open the bottom part up, sew in a triangle of material. Yeah, I'm doing it again. <laughs> it's a good way to use up your old jeans. Just makes them into a little skirt. Kiki, you look so cute. Why are you looking so cute? Huh? About ready to jump out of there? Yeah? The seedlings that I planted inside are enjoying this beautiful day outside. And I think we have one more night of temperatures in the 30s. And then from then on, it looks like smooth sailing. It's going to be in the 40s and 50s as we move on into spring. Yay! Are you loving it, buddy? Yep, I think he's loving his bone. have him in this little kennel here so that the other dogs don't uh, <laughs> try to take it away from him. Yummy, yummy, gooey. Now it's precious this time to chew on the bone. But he so graciously handed it over to her. Precious. You have grease on your back. Have you been climbing under the car? Yeah, I think you have. Oh, that's delicious, huh? My compost bins never cease to amaze me. So I took this stuff out of the one that was mostly finished and I put it in this barrel just to hold it. Then I'm moving this one that's really an active uh, bin, moving that stuff all over here. And it just amazes me. As I look in there and dig it up, it's dirt. And I think, what did I put in here? I know I put a lot more different things in here just than just dirt. And then I look at the newest bin, and I go, yes, that's what it looks like originally. And then it's just like by magic. It's magic. God just turns it into dirt. <laughs> he uses all the microbes, all the fungus, all the bacteria, all the little creatures, the worms, the roly-polies. I even saw a centipede in here and a millipede. All the little creatures that break down the soil, break down the plants, turn them into soil. It's just so amazing. So wonderful. I moved some of the buckets over here because I feel like this little area here, plants always do really well here. And I think it's because they get the morning sun and the afternoon sun, which is what they're getting right now. Although they don't get the hot, hot, beating down afternoon sun like they do over here. So it's just an experiment. I put a few of the buckets over here in the early sunshine part. I think the reason is because with my car right here, my car blocks the early sunshine from this group. So I want to show you the best way that I've figured out how to move all this stuff from one bin to another. I used to just take this fork thing here and just move it, but it's really, the fork itself is kind of heavy. So it was a lot of work, which is fine. A lot of work is fun, but I always like to figure out the most efficient way to do something. So what I do is I have this claw. I go in there. I claw everything over to one side. Then I get this trowel. This bucket. This is a two and a half gallon bucket. It fits in here. And then I just trowel 
into the bucket a little bit at a time. And then dump that into the next bin. Sorry, I'm going to put it into the next bin. That works pretty well. See down at the bottom, have a bunch of leaves and other things. Look at even some green stuff down at the bottom on that one. So, very cool. Compost bins, the best. Now what I do like to use this big fork for is stirring. Because I can just drop it down in there and then twist it. I don't have to be lifting stuff with it. Okay, like over here. So I'm going to mix this up. Just twisting it. See, I could even do it with one hand. There we go. I got all the cardboard in this one. Then I'll move it over to the next one. Let's see how I can stir this one. This is the one that's in progress. Yeah, so I can just jab it in there and twist it. So, pretty cool. Compost bins, yay! Gee, Kiki. Did you have bone time too? You had bone time? Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's still in there. Yeah. Was it good? Did you love it? Yeah. <gasps> hey, she's just learning how to chew on a bone. But they fight over it if they get the chance. So we're not going to fight over it. Okay? Oh, boy. Buddy's a good boy. He didn't fight over it. But the girls, the girls are probably both type A personalities, so... They would get into it. <laughs> You're not going to quit looking at it, huh? Even though you've already chewed on it for a while. And it was so yummy, huh? So after I put the dogs away, then I'll go in there and get that bone out. Next step is to put water in the compost bins. This is some rainwater. That I saved up. Looks like stir fry, doesn't it? Kind of, kind of like that. Kind of like stir fry. <laughs> okay, and the last step is to take this one here and put it back in this one. Now, remember a while back, I had taken all the stuff out of the compost bins and there were gopher holes down in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any today. I didn't see any little critters that were digging up underneath. But I think that's pretty smart. Thanks for hanging out in the garden with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're getting ready for your garden, wherever you live. It's about the middle of March. And that's when a lot of people in our country start thinking about planting the garden. So I'll see you next time. Be sure and like and subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell. Adios. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.